Hey guys, what's up? Toby Logo here, and we're back with the 2010 FIFA World Cup game. Our quest to do all the nations. This time, I'm doing a Guatemala because it was requested, and I've also seen that people have suggested Ecuador. So I'm going to do Ecuador next after this one. So hopefully, this will be a good gameplay. Hopefully, I can win it with Guatemala on uh, the hardest difficulty. Uh, let's just skip the draw then. So what group are we in? Um, I uh, can't see us. Oh yeah, USA, Guatemala, Panama and Benin. Okay, cool. That's not a bad group, I'd say. Guatemala are one and a half star team. If you've noticed as well, for all the eagle eyes viewers out there, I've actually put most of Guatemala's neighbours in there as well. Alright, here we go. USA versus Guatemala. Don't really know too much about Guatemala in terms of football. Um, never seen them play. USA seem very, very aggressive on the t on the defensive end. They don't seem to want to give up much against me. Maybe because I'm another CONCACAF ri rival or something, I don't know. But what is that yellow streak going down Guatemala's flag in the scoreboard? What is that? I've never seen that. Is that a glitch or is that actually part of their flag? I don't actually think it is. That's actually a really good ball, by the way. Rodriguez. Ah. Oh. I don't think I'm going to get past this, these USA defenders. Ramirez with the free kick. Oh my god. Tested Howard. I just don't know how to take free kicks on this game. It always seems to be very random. You know, you just sort of like, you just got to get the power right. There's no actual like, um, technique to it. Unless I'm just missing something. Guatemala seem okay at the moment. Uh, attacking wise, not the best. But... Um, I think that's just down to USA's stubborn defence. I think if I go against the other um, the other teams, like Panama, for example, I reckon I could um, have Panama, but we've just given away a free kick for no reason. True ball? Oh, come on. USA's defence is so stubborn. They won't let me pass. They're just not letting me do anything. I, I think USA just don't want to lose against Guatemala. I don't know. Obviously they wouldn't, but... That's such a micro and comment right there, isn't it? Like, oh, USA don't want to lose against him. Oh, of course they don't, you know. My God, just clear it, Guatemala, please. Oh, they scored, yeah. I, I, I was overwhelming the amount of uh, pressure USA have put on me. And I just, and again, another mistake. And it cost me because I couldn't clear the ball then. And for some reason, I couldn't tackle him either. Like, come on. Right. Okay, fine. I mean, I would have expected to lose against USA. I don't like losing against the USA. Oh, that completely surprised me. I didn't think it would actually go through his legs, but it actually did. Oh my god, I just can't get past them. This has been a defensive massive pass by USA. Like I said, the Burnley of, of world football. 100%. 100%. They literally just grab a goal and sit back and defend. And it's like, yeah? You really want to play like that? Great. <sighs> what a bad start. Like, we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything at all. It was all USA. Like, defending. Um, like, they only had, like... They had a few attacks. Fair play to them. But I just couldn't get through on goal. Because of their stubborn-ass defence. Alright. Let's see if I can get more luckier against Benin. Here we are then. Benin versus Guatemala in the second match of this World Cup gameplay. Hopefully, we can get a win. I hope so. I only know one player from um, Benin, and um, it was a bloke that used to play for Yeovil about two years ago. I can't remember his name now, but he had dreads, and he was actually a decent player for, for Yeovil when Yeovil were back in, like, League 2 or whatever. He was alright. Great tackle. Can we keep going? See, that's the problem. He didn't even... Uh, oh. He didn't turn for a start, and then the guy fa fouled me. Which is just so irritating, and uh, we just booted the ball up there. What is going on, like, with this team? We're just not, like, with it at the moment. I'm not feeling them. I'm not feeling them. Like, but then it's just like, yep, we're going to win, and that's all we want. I don't know how highly rated Benin are. I really don't know. But I just, I, I, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling against them. It's really annoying. We're going to approach 45 minutes with the score at nil-nil. Not impressed, really, with Guatemala so far. They're just a little bit, like, flat. They're just a little bit flat for me. I think they're just, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, they're just a bit... 
they just don't have anything special about them. No, nothing special defensively, nothing special attacking wise. No creativity in midfield. There's always someone. Hang on. We got lucky there. We got really lucky. Yes, we got a goal. We got a goal. Nice one. It's Trigueros. Trigueros with the goal. Look at this. I, they snatched it from me and then I snatched him back again. And he just had to smash it in. That's the kind of luck we need as a one-star team. Just to get out of the group stage. If I could just get out of the group stage with Guatemala, that would be awesome. That tackle was was crucial. Crucial to the gameplay. And we're 1-0 up against Benin. Oh, great ball. Here comes Trigueros. He's in behind. Can he score? Yes, he can. Beautiful goal there by Trigueros. The ball was even more amazing. And we're 2-0 up now. We've broken down Benin's, like, really stubborn defence. The They're literally, like, the same as, like, USA. They're just so stubborn. And they just wouldn't let me pass. But that, that finesse shot was beautiful. 2-0. Nice. Guatemala found themselves. Or maybe I found Guatemala. I don't know. No, don't you dare. Okay, okay. Well, that was a good header to get the ball away. Because the goalkeeper flapped it. And um, I was for certain that would be a goal for Benin. I just thought, another player that I um, do remember from uh, Benin is Sessegnon. The one who used to play for West Brom. Stefan Sessegnon or whatever his name is. Trigueros, can he finish his game off? He will absolutely destroy Benin. It's 3-0. Guatemala, complete turnaround. I literally criticised them in the in the first half, saying how flat they were. And now they've come out to play. They have come out to play with a 3-0 win against Benin. Nice one. We're ready for Panama, I think. I think we're ready. I think we are. I hope so. <laughs> nice one. Guatemala get their first win at a World Cup. We really, really, really need to beat these guys. Um, a Central American um, rival, I guess. Well, not rival, but, you know, they're quite close by to Guatemala. Oh, bad passing. Where are you, Guatemala? Where was the Guatemala that we all know and love from the Benin game? Or was Benin just, like, you know, just bad? I don't know. Get it? Ugh, why is it down to like several inches? Like this happens on FIFA, the normal ones. Like if you play online, like if the ball's going gonna go out of play, I find most of the time that your players will not get to it. They'll get near it, they'll get ex extremely close to it, but then they won't get it. It's just annoying. There's no options on the pitch at all. Oh, that was a h horrible shot. There's just no options. Panama, like, kind of squeeze the life out of this game at the moment. I feel like the AI is going to go on a ma mad push in a minute and, like, just have me on the break. I feel like they're going to do that. Oh, my God. There's no space. There's no space. Panama has sucked the life out of this game. Like, I was talking about USA being the Burnley of um, the CONCACAF or the world or whatever. Panama seemed to be doing it quite nicely. Oh, here we go. Papa. Oh, wait. What? Why would you do that? Why? I mean, what's going on at the moment? Oh, okay. It was actually a nil-nil draw. So Panama squeezed the life out of that game. I don't know what happened. It, I just went for on guard. It's just like, yeah, game over. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll take it. Um, did we get through, though? That's the, that's the main question. I have a feeling I did. All right, we did. By the skin of our teeth, we did. Nice one. We got through. We got through, okay. We'll continue it and see who we got in the next round. Hey, we got Honduras. See, I knew there would be one of those teams there. So we got a friendly neighbourhood matchup on our hands in the round of 16. Um, we got Italy beating Cameroon 1-0. Angola beating Chile, that's quite good. But yeah, other than that, quite, um, quite standard, the World Cup. So here we go then, Honduras versus Guatemala. Hopefully this is a very competitive game. Hopefully we get like some goals um, from me, especially. But if I have to go out, I hope Honduras score good good goals. Here comes Suazo, is it? Tackle him. Okay, it's a corner. I'm trying to get him out of my box and I just can't do it. Please stop. Oh my god, that was a hell of a save. Oh my god, that was even better save by the crossbar. Oh, come on, ref. He fell over. Because I didn't even touch him. Now they got a free kick on the edge of the box. 
This is mental. First 20 minutes, they've been all over me. What they do? Oh my god. Close, but no cigar. Uh oh. No. Oh, great save. This um, Guatemalan keeper has actually been okay. Only conceded one goal this whole World Cup. So, at the moment, pretty damn good. Get ahead on it. Oh my god, that was close. Trigueros. Oh, that's a bad foul. Was that last man? Was it last man? Yes, it was. Red card for you. Who was that that got the red card? It must have been... Was it Palacios? Because if it was, that's one of their best players. Oh. I don't know why Honduras would be happy about that. Like, their fans still look happy about it. Yeah. Oh, it's Picaroa. Still a great player. Quote me if I'm wrong. He played for Wigan, right? All right. So, it's half time. They're down to ten men. We always knew this match would be a little bit heated because of, you know, they're, they're sort of neighbours, aren't they, these two teams? Go on, Trigueros. Oh, no. That was a good chance. That was a good chance, but he didn't shoot it properly. Tight and tense affair between these two teams. We're going to extra time in this one. We're going to extra time. Will it go to penalties? Oh, I, I hope not. But, you know, it would make it very entertaining. Okay. So it's been very even, 18 shots between all of, both of us, you know, they've had 10, I've had 8. Oh, come on, ref. Wait, what? Come on. That's no fair. I went for the ball. Oh. Another red card in this game. And it's for Ramirez, for me, he misses the next match. So both of these teams are down to uh, 10 men. With 15 minutes to play in game time. Otherwise it's going to penalties. It's been a very heated affair between these two. And a very tense affair as well. Very tight game. No. No. Oh great save by the keeper. Don't. Oh no. They're going to have a shot. Great save again. It's going to penalties I think. I reckon it might do. Unless it's, there's a last minute winner on the cards. And it looks like it might be for Honduras. It looks like it's going to pens. This could be where we win or where we lose, but in dramatic fashion against one of our neighbours. Here we go then. Ah, oh, down the middle. I went, I went to the left. I went to the left. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to see that because you wouldn't see my controller input. But I went to the left. So thanks for that game. Thanks. Hey, there we go. Like this time, I'm definitely going to the left. Oh, thank God for that. I think I went a little bit too far to the left there. Guayava with the penalty. What is he going to do here? Score the goal. Oh, he saved it with one hand. All right. Okay, Martinez. I've missed two. They've missed one. Martinez. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. We could be going out. We could be going out. Papa, please don't do this. Please don't miss the pen. It's Papa. Will Papa's pen put us through? Oh, yes. Okay. Right. Now they need to score, I think. These two nations. Neighbours. One of them is going home. Who will it be? It's us. It's Guatemala going home. Honduras win in a very, very tight game, to be fair. I mean, to be... Like, like I said... To be fair to us, we played really well in that game. I'm not I'm not mad at all. We played well. We had a few decent shots and they played well as well. If you watch this game in real life in a World Cup round of 16, I think you'd be quite pleased with that. Alright, so Italy beat Honduras in the final. Honduras went all the way, all the way to the final. United States and Uruguay in the third place playoff, but it won't tell me who won that. So Honduras went all the way to the final. That's crazy. That's crazy. Representing the Conca... CONCACAF um, area there, Honduras, so they did it for us, they beat us just to get to the final. Well done to them, well done. Uh, if you like the video then obviously like it, subscribe if you want to, uh, keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.